Hello everyone. Welcome to another session. This is a third video and third video for polity. Total my fourth video. Hai, but I am going to help you get ready that ki UPSC ka preparation, civil services exam ka preparation from the scratch. Kaise karna hai. So this is a, a video series in that direction. If you are a grade 11 student, 12 student, college first, second year student or you are preparing or if you are also an adult and you are preparing for the civil services exam for the first time then this video series will help you really without wasting your money without wasting your time but i need a lot of hard work and dedication from you not bahut jyada hard work decent amount of dedication and hard work all right with that uh, regular questions which i generally share that when should we start studying, preparing for UPSC exam as soon as possible? Sources, sab achhe hai, but jo bhi karo, do it nicely. This subject or stream, make it easy. Nothing, hard work, no shortcuts. All right. And how much will I cover? I will cover the 10% of the total syllabus, which I feel. But this 10% will help you understand that how do you prepare for this exam actually. And it will set your base for this final phase jab aap ek saal mein bas finally exam clear kar doge. something like that all right and will i cover the whole syllabus no of course not i will not cover the whole syllabus, but i will help you understand everything that how can you prepare the syllabus what things do you need to focus upon uh, what things do you need to cover something like that all right coaching not required ye video series to kar lo pehle pura and why am I doing it? Because a lot of people were wasting time and energy in wrong direction. I felt and uh, we are at Clay Lab like thinking ki how can we help students and young people channelize their energy in the right direction. That is why we developed this video series. All right. And any suggestion? Yes. Finish it. Finish this series as soon as possible. So I am going to do this 2020 videos of all these subjects to help you understand how can you start for this uh, UPSC preparation. All right. Right now we are doing uh, polity. I have taken my pen. Okay. <laughs> it is going into the background. And let's start now. Today we have to do the second part of fundamental rights video. All right. So let's start polity third video, fundamental rights part two. If you can recall from the last video, and this is where I want hard work from you. Randomly a video or it will not help you. So recalling from the last video, we were talking about these part three of the fund of our constitution. I hope you all remember part three may consist of fundamental rights. And us fundamental rights may we had started talking about Article 12, which means what is the meaning of state in this part three? Article 13 may we talk key fundamental rights are supreme most important over other laws article 14 talks about equality before the law and equal protection of laws and article 15 no discrimination on the basis of religion race caste sex or place of birth it was a question once in the prelims exam now let's zoom out a little bit Agar if you recall uh, fundamental rights ka basics from your uh, previous classes, grade 9, 10th may be cover hota hai and 11, 12th ki uh, polity ki book may be cover hota hai. Uh, that fundamental rights, we have actually six fundamental rights. These are the six fundamental rights. Right to equality that all of us are equal. It is covered in these articles. In part three of our constitution, it is covered in these three articles, uh, in these 14 to 18 articles. Then right to freedom that we all are free people no one can uh, like put us in jail without any reason no one has control us no one can force us to do things this comes under article 19 to 22 then right against exploitation ki aap kisi ko bhi exploit nahi kar sakte ho. Uh, it comes under article 23 24 for right to freedom of religion you know india is a secular country article 25 to 28 then cultural and education rights uh, that you can promote your culture you can start schools to promote your culture you can teach the way you want to teach your kids all these things and right to constitutional remedies remember in the last video also i was talking about this that 
fundamental rights are super important and have a very good position in our constitu uh, in our legal system in our country also because of this part right to constitutional remedies that agar aapka koi fundamental right le so you can directly approach to high court or supreme court otherwise you cannot directly go for like kisi ne agar aapka pocket pick kar liya to you are directly going to supreme court or high court but fundamental rights is an important issue and therefore this is a right under that now you don't need to remember these tables okay honestly a lot of people when they start preparing fundamental rights this is the mistake they do sab ratna shuru kar do no remember goal understand so these are the rights now understand the meaning of these rights again you might be thinking okay what is article 14 what what is article 19 what is article 24 what is article 27 dheere dheere prepare ho jayega sab first can we focus on learning the meaning of these all these rights all right so let's focus on that now first one right to equality which is covered under article 14 to 18 remember in uh, first thing which we were discussing about equality before the law and e equal protection of laws this is article 14 now i remember it because i have learned it many times and i have practiced it before recording this video also uh then there was this article 15 prohibition of discrimination on the basis of फाइव चीजें थी आई होप यू थॉट इट इन योर माइंड बट रिलीजियन रेस कास्ट सेक्स और प्लेस ऑफ बर्थ सो ऐसे प्रॉब्लम्स में क्वेश्चन आ सकते हैं राइट इक्वालिटी ऑफ अपॉर्चुनिटीज सो अवर राइट टू इक्वालिटी ऑल्सो सेज दैट वी ऑल शुड हैव इक्वल अपॉर्चुनिटीज टू गवर्नमेंट जॉब्स टू लीगल सिस्टम टू पॉलिटिकल सिस्टम दिस इज वट अवर कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन हैज गिवन द राइट टू अस now abolition of untouchability that no one should be called an untouchable no one should be treated like an untouchable i hope you all know ki past bahut past aise 100 200 years pehle even in some areas even 50 60 years pehle bhi in some areas some people were treated as untouchables some section of the community which was a bad practice and that is why constitution also took a stand against it and uh, now fortunately almost in the country now where we see that practice and abolition of titles now this titles is like jaise purane samay mein kisi ko bolte hai raja sahab kumar sahab aur wo sab cheeze mazak mein aap bol sakte ho but no one can go out and say that everyone should call me with this name now this is also abolished okay that now all are equal there is no sahab everyone is equal something like this so this whole article uh, sorry this whole part right to equality under these five articles 14 15 16 17 18 is trying to ensure that all the people in the country are equal all right ab equal ka matlab again there are exceptions this is not an absolute law iske kuch parts absolute hai for example abolition of untouchability this is absolute no one can practice it president prime minister chief justice no one but abolition of titles abolition of titles you know bharat ratna award diya jata hai padm bhushan padm vibhushan all these param veer chakra all these things these awards are allowed which are given on a, their performance basis doctor engineer advocate lawyer all these things right but not like just by birth someone has got it i hope you can get it like right doctor is not by birth you have to earn it and anyone can earn it someone who becomes a doctor right so not by birth you are getting a bharat ratan also is given after you have accomplished something aapne kuch kiya hai desh ke liye acha society ke liye acha community ke liye acha right so that is the idea here now general studies mein simple sa question aa sakta hai abolition of title should become an absolute um lo absolute right तो आप एक्सप्लेन कर सकते हो कि ये एब्सोल्यूट का मतलब नहीं है अगर किसी को अप्रिशिएट करना और हम उसको कोई स्टेटस दें जैसे कि ओके दिस पर्सन इज द क्लास मॉनिटर दिस पर्सन इज द प्राइम मिनिस्टर दिस इज ओके राइट बट बाय बर्थ बिकॉज ये राजा के घर में पैदा हुआ इसीलिए राजा है दैट वॉज अ रॉन्ग सिस्टम सो दिस इज हाउ यू शुड अप्रोच इट एंड दिस इज हाउ यू शुड अंडरस्टैंड इट अब इसके बिना अगर आप बुक्स उठाओगे इसके ऊपर ही यू विल सी टेन डिफरेंट एग्जाम्पल्स यू डोंट नीड टू मेमोराइज ऑल दिस एग्जाम्पल्स आइडिया फर्स्ट इंपॉर्टेंट थिंग इज अंडरस्टैंड राइट अंडरस्टैंडिंग इज सुपर इंपॉर्टेंट आई होप 
all of you are getting it now moving on to the second one um right to freedom now right to freedom sorry i was just checking time only um because it is almost midnight for me when i am recording this video uh right to freedom so right to freedom again comes under four articles 19 se 22 mein and all these articles cover some parts first most article article 19 which is the most important one uh says that all citizens okay so remember ye bhi hame dhyan mein rakhna hai har article mein is it for any person is it for all citizens all citizens means indian citizens and any person means agar koi foreign national bhi aayega usko bhi milega so all citizens should have right to freedom of speech and expression they can assemble peacefully and without arms so can foreign nationals come in india and cannot express freedom of, do they not have speech and expression ka freedom no apne desh mein jaake karo something like that but india mein with due permission they can come but it's not their fundamental right ki bhai hame to india mein aake bolna hai aur aayenge aisa nahi kar sakte they have to take a permission all right to form associations unions cooperative societies aap mein se koi bhi kar sakte hai aap apne student clubs bana sakte ho you can make communities you can make ngo company whatever you want to start to move freely throughout the territory of country again ye absolute nahi hai इनमें से मोस्टली एब्सोल्यूट नहीं है फ्रीडम ऑफ स्पीच एंड एक्सप्रेशन तो आप ऐसे थोड़ी ना कुछ भी बोल सकते हो असेंबल पीसफुली अगर पुलिस मना करे तो यू कैन नॉट सिमिलरली यू कैन नॉट मेक एन एसोसिएशन ऑफ समथिंग व्हिच इज बैड फॉर द सोसाइटी राइट ऐसे ही यू कैन नॉट गो टू हिली एरियाज समटाइम्स विदाउट सम पर्टिकुलर परमिशन और टू ट्राइबल एरियाज विदाउट प्रॉपर परमिशन टू रिजाइड एंड सेटल इन एनी पार्ट ऑफ द कंट्री अगेन they this is also not an absolute part yahan pe bhi kuch limitations hain and you can you are free to practice any profession any occupation trade or business but again not an absolute right aisa nahi ki okay my intention is to become a thief you cannot do that that is not acceptable in the society and i am sure no one will no none of you will think like that All right, so this is the exception. थोड़ा सा मैंने zoom out किया अपनी screen को. Exception that all these are valid except जब तक sovereignty या integrity of India खतरे में ना हो या फिर security of the state मतलब country, okay? Friendly relations with foreign states यानी कि foreign governments, foreign countries, public order, decency, morality or court के order के against. या फिर कोर्ट की कोई बेजती करने के लिए ऐसा कुछ सो इन सब कंडीशंस में ये राइट्स को दूर किया जा सकता है दीज राइट्स कैन बी टेकन अवे बट अदरवाइज यू हैव दीज राइट्स सो दिस इज राइट टू फ्रीडम दिस होल इज आर्टिकल 19 ओनली सो दिस आर्टिकल 19 वी हैव टॉक्ड अबाउट प्रोटेक्शन ऑफ फ्रीडम नाउ आर्टिकल ट्वेंटी में इट कम्स अबाउट प्रोटेक्शन ऑफ लाइफ एंड पर्सनल लिबर्टी आपको बिना किसी रीजन से आपकी कोई लाइफ नहीं ले सकता पुलिस ऑफकोर्स देर इज अ डू प्रोसेस वो फॉलो होता है लाइक क्रिमिनल्स के लिए बट विदाउट एनी रीजन नो वन कैन टेक इट इट्स नॉट अलाउड पुलिस विल टेक एक्शन अगेंस्ट दैट पर्सन आपकी कोई पर्सनल प्रॉपर्टी भी नहीं छीन सकता है एंड इससे आया था आर्टिकल ट्वेंटी वन ए राइट टू एजुकेशन सो सम पीपल पुट इट इन द सुप्रीम कोर्ट एंड डिस्कस्ड ऑल्सो एंड देन गवर्नमेंट ऑल्सो डिस्कस एंड दिस इज हाउ इट केम फाइनली इन द कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन की भाई एक लाइफ अगर अगर किसी का फंडामेंटल राइट लाइफ है आज के टाइम में इफ दैट इंसान के नॉट रीड के नॉट राइट यू कैन अंडरस्टैंड राइट कि ऑटोमेटिकली उस इंसान को कितना डिसएडवांटेज हो जाएगा सो इट इज द रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी ऑफ द सोसाइटी ऑफ द गवर्नमेंट टू इंश्योर दैट एवरी चाइल्ड लर्न every child knows how to read and write and basic education therefore up to the age of 14 it is the right now for getting educated all right isko right bana ke kya ho gaya right bana ke ab ye ho gaya ki ab government ki responsibility ho gayi that they have to ensure it pehle kya tha chunavi vaade the sirf matlab i am not saying they were not doing it but they could just say ha we will focus on education of every child but if they will not do it no one can question them as such matlab well, people can question when next time they will vote but now even the supreme court can question them that hey 
it is the right of every child to get educated what are you doing in this direction what is government of india doing what are state governments doing in this direction so aise kisi fundamental right mein jab kuch right add ho jata hai that becomes very very important this is the power of fundamental rights that is what you should understand all right so article 21 a ye kahi pe mcq mein aa sakta hai this you should remember then protection against arrest ki aapko koi bina kisi permission ke arrest nahi kar sakta sab so, इस लो को समझाने के लिए आई कैन टेक अ थ्री आवर्स का क्लास और आई कैन आई कैन फिनिश इट इन टेन मिनट्स और फाइव मिनट्स सो दैट इज वट आई एम टेलिंग यू कि डोंट गो इन टू डीप डेप्थ ऑफ एवरी थिंग कि मुझे सब समझना है दुनिया का लाइक सी दिस बुक मेरे पीछे uh, ये यहाँ पे इंडिया इंडिया बिफोर इंडिपेंडेंस ये हिस्ट्री ऑफ मॉडर्न इंडिया इंडिया बिफोर गांधी uh jawaharlal nehru wrote a book and geography like all these books i bought assuming ki all these books are suppose i need to prepare for civil service exam no i don't need all these books isiliye please first try to understand what is super important for the upsc exam and then you prepare all right so abhi tak what we have discussed in part 3 of our constitution which is fundamental rights we have talked about right to equality which is coming under 14 to 18 article numbers and right now we just discuss 19 to 22 which is right of right to freedom now we will go to the next one i guess right against exploitation so we have talked about right to equality right to freedom and now right against exploitation matlab aapko koi exploit nahi kar sakta jaise ki human trafficking bandwa mazdoor forced labor कोई फोर्स नहीं कर सकते आपको काम करने के लिए इट इज योर योर ओन विश इफ यू वांट टू डू लेबर वर्क इफ यू वांट टू बिकम अ फार्मर इफ यू वांट टू राइड अ ट्रक इफ यू वांट टू लाइक मतलब वट एवर बिजनेस यू वांट टू डू जो कि सोशली एक्सेप्टेबल है सोशली एक्सेप्टेबल है वो आप कर सकते हो बट विदाउट एनी प्रेशर नो वन कैन फोर्स यू सिमिलरली बिकॉज बच्चों को तो ये राइट right समझ में ही नहीं आएगा कि उनसे कोई काम करवा रहा है उनका क्या फंडामेंटल राइट सो एम्प्लॉयमेंट ऑफ चिल्ड्रेन बिलो फोर्टीन कंप्लीटली बंद है इंडिया में अलाउड ही नहीं है कोई भी नहीं करवा सकता है फोर्टीन के ऊपर पेरेंट्स के साथ या कुछ सेफ कंडीशन में दे कैन डू सम वर्क बट विदाउट सेक्रीफाइसिंग देयर एजुकेशन राइट बट फोर्टीन से नीचे तो कंप्लीटली नॉट अलाउड 14 to 18 भी नॉन हेजार्डस इंडस्ट्रीज में दे आर नॉट अलाउड दे कैन नॉट वर्क इन ऐसी जगह जहां उनको चोट लग सकती है और ऐसा नहीं है पूरे दिन काम कर रहे हैं ठीक है एक दो घंटा में भी पेरेंट्स के साथ दुकान पे बैठना पेरेंट्स को थोड़ा हेल्प कर देना फार्मिंग में ऐसा इट इज अलाउड राइट सो ऐसे आपको समझ पाना चाहिए कि कैसे राइट टू इक्वालिटी राइट टू फ्रीडम राइट अगेंस्ट एक्सप्लोटेशन दे कवर डिफरेंट डिफरेंट आस्पेक्ट देन राइट टू फ्रीडम ऑफ रिलीजन I hope all of you know India is a secular country, but अब यहाँ पे भी ना बहुत discussion होता है कि India का secularism और US का secularism में क्या difference है या किसी और generally secular माना जाता है कि government does not identify any religion मतलब government को कोई religion से कोई मतलब ही नहीं है ठीक है no connection at all with the religion but India का secular क्या है कि every religion is okay government of India treats every religion equal इसीलिए हम लोगों की रिलीजियस हॉलीडेज भी होती हैं स्टेट स्टेट में डिफरेंट भी होता है राइट इवन गवर्नमेंट काफी रिलीजियस इंस्टीट्यूट्स को सब्सिडीज भी देती है काफी सारी चीजों में राइट काफी सारे प्रोविजन हैं सो इंडियन सेक्युलरिज्म इज गिविंग फ्रीडम एंड स्कोप टू एवरी रिलीजन टू ग्रो दैट इज वॉट इंडियन सेक्युलरिज्म बट यहाँ पे भी एक एक्सेप्शन है कि पब्लिक ऑर्डर मोरलिटी एंड हेल्थ के अगेंस्ट नहीं जाना चाहिए उसके अलावा अगर कोई भी अपना फ्री अपने रिलीजन को प्रोफेस मतलब दूसरों को समझा सकता है अपने रिलीजन के बारे में प्रैक्टिस उसको कर सकता है प्रोपगेट उसको थोड़ा प्रमोट करना फेमस करना की कोशिश करना सब कर सकते हैं बट ये पब्लिक ऑर्डर मोरलिटी या हेल्थ जैसे कि हेल्थ मतलब कि अब कोई बोले कि मेरा रिलीजन आज से ये है कि आई विल नॉट ईट एनी तो ऐसे तो किसी दिन आप मर जाओगे ना सो गवर्नमेंट विल नॉट अलाउ सच थिंग्स या फिर मतलब नॉन स्टॉप अगर नहीं खाओगे या फिर कोई बोले कि है मेरा रिलीजन तो ऐसा ऐसा करना है मैं पूरे सोसाइटी में हर रोज ऑफिस बिना क्लोथ्स के जाऊंगा या ऐसा कुछ है ऐसा कुछ सो दैट इज ऑल्सो अगेंस्ट पब्लिक ऑर्डर राइट सो दैट इज वट गवर्नमेंट विल नॉट अलाउ बट अदरवाइज यू आर फ्री टू प्रैक्टिस योर ओन रिलीजन और नो रिलीजन एट ऑल दैट इज योर फ्रीडम 
so right to equality freedom against exploitation uh, freedom and freedom against exploitation and right to freedom of religion ye yaad hone chahiye ab again you may think ki okay ncert padhe ise acche se samajhne ke liye ncert padh lo acha source hai mehmana nahi kar raha hu good source can you finish it in 3 hours try to do it varna pehle puri ye video series kar lo fir padhna try to understand everything first what is this exam about see previous year questions pehle ye puri video series kar lo fir previous year questions dekho tab dheere dheere detail mein jana shuru karna don't just jump ki ek cheez are fundamental rights pata laga aaj hi uska phd kar dalte hain no don't do like that first always see the bigger picture all right so we have talked about these things i hope all of you have learned these rights we have talked about right to equality we have talked about right to freedom we have talked about right against exploitation aise man man mein recall karke bhi dekho ye kya the right to freedom of religion ab ek ek article ko baith ke abhi yaad mat karna just understand kar lo meaning kuch kuch cheeze jaise ki right to equality mein equality before the law and equal protection of law was important discrimination kis basis pe allowed nahi tha right to freedom mein kya hame speech ki expression ki country mein ghumne ki uh, ye sab permission hai kya every indian has right to freedom to go outside the country permission leni padti hai visa passport kaafi sari cheeze so aise socho aise apne concepts develop karo right against exploitation <laughs> some of the kids might used to ask me sometimes ki i think sometimes my parents don't treat me nicely is it my fundamental right violated no wo matlab aapko samjhana aapko dantna aapke acche ke liye that is not exploitation theek hai but school mein physical punishment that is exploitation no teacher can do that okay please keep that in your mind right to freedom of religion it's fundamental right and indian government supports all the religions equally treats all the religions equally all right कल्चरल एंड एजुकेशन राइट कि आप अपनी कल्चर को भी प्रमोट कर सकते हो आप उसको एजुकेशन में लाइक मान लो आई वॉन्ट टू स्टार्ट अ वैदिक स्कूल आई कैन डू दैट वेन अ स्टूडेंट इज कमिंग टू माई स्कूल आई हैव टू जस्ट टेल दैम दैट हे माई स्कूल इज वैदिक स्कूल डू यू स्टिल वॉन्ट टू कम देन दे विल कम देन आई कैन टीच दैम थिंग्स अबाउट वेदास आई कैन स्टार्ट an islamic school also and i can tell teach in that school about islamic culture and all and if someone is joining that school they have to uh, like learn what i am learning otherwise they can leave the school also but i have the right to start such schools all right so hamari culture hamare religion ko promote karne ka indian constitution give us the rights now the last one right to constitutional remedies okay ab yahan pe bhi na bahut ek kuch technical terms aati hain सर्शरी मैंडमस ऑल दीज थिंग्स जो कि ना सुप्रीम कोर्ट के पास पावर है हमारे सुप्रीम कोर्ट के पास पावर है वो अभी डिटेल में मैं नहीं जा रहा हूँ वो आप लोग सोचोगे कि अरे कुछ स्किप कर दिया हम अपने आप से देखेंगे देख लो बट अगेन फिनिशिंग द सिलेबस इज इम्पोर्टेंट नोट की हर एक चीज की गहराई में जाना बट वट आई एम टेलिंग राइट टू कॉन्स्टिट्यूशनल रेमेडीज का मतलब है कि अगर आपका कोई ये राइट right लेता है तो यू हैव एवरी राइट टू गो टू द सुप्रीम कोर्ट और हाई कोर्ट टू टेल की हे मेरा फंडामेंटल राइट हैज बीन वॉयलेटेड एंड आई नीड सपोर्ट आई नीड जस्टिस एंड गवर्नमेंट देन इफ द कोर्ट फाइंड सेट राइट कोर्ट कैन गिव द ऑर्डर टू द गवर्नमेंट टू इनिशिएट Uh, action in the right direction to reinstate your right all right so i hope iske sath aap logo ko thoda sa fundamental right ka clarity ho chuka hai so we are done with introduction to constitution of india basically and fundamental rights bhi humne cover kar liya hai thoda bahut basic structure aapko samajh mein aa gaya and you know what kind of questions can be asked in prelims what kind of questions can be asked in mains mains mein aisa bhi question aa sakta hai like do you think fundamental rights india has given enough fundamental rights do you think we should change fundamental right do you think we should add something to the fundamental rights kafi sare questions ban sakte opinion based i hope you are understanding that is why understanding is super important in upsc please try to see the syllabus in that way upsc does not want people jo sirf ratta maar ke aa gaye hain okay upsc want people jinko bahut acche se samajh mein aati hai cheeze those who can actually run the country all right because bureaucrats run the country uh, these civil servants run the country and in next video now we will do fundamental duties i hope all of you are ready for that 
एज वेल दिस इज माई फेवरेट पार्ट बिकॉज राइट मांगना तो बहुत आसान है बट हमारी ड्यूटीज को फॉलो करना इज अ डिफिकल्ट पार्ट तो फोर्थ एंड फिफ्थ पार्ट विच विल बी डन विच विल बी द टू सेट ऑफ वीडियो नेक्स्ट विल बी कमिंग सोन टिल दैट कीप इंजॉइंग कीप लर्निंग बी डिसिप्लिन बी स्मार्ट and be a good citizen and try to help as many people as around you try to be a good leader because upsc also wants leaders and aapka interview bhi tabhi clear hoga when you have shown that leadership in your life all right so with that we are done for today thank you so much take care bye bye